Hey folks, I'm Dieter Melhorn, and in this video we're going to talk about the biggest news in the catfish world in a long time. Well folks, this isn't no new world record or anything like that. It's the Bill Dance World Catfish Expo. Uh, if you hadn't heard about it, uh, some information was leaked a week or so ago. And I only say leaked because there's not much more information than this one little flyer that made its way to Facebook. Uh, on that flyer, it had a date, which was in March. And uh, that's pretty much it. There's a web address. Uh, there, there's nothing at the web address. Uh, the, it gave a location for the uh, expo, which is going to be in Memphis, Tennessee and a venue and there's nothing on the venue's website as of the taping of this which is in mid-July of 2018. So uh, I think this was a little bit of a uh, tactical fire one across the bow. Let's see what the reaction is going to be. Uh, I don't think it was an accident. I think it was done on purpose and uh, I think they did a good job because there's a lot of talk and a lot of chatter going on uh, both online publicly and behind the scenes about what this means for the catfish industry and uh, what it means for vendors, manufacturers, uh, anglers, and also the Catfish Conference, which to this point in 2018 has been our only trade show in the catfish industry. It has been taking place in Kentucky and uh, it's been a great show. This will be its fourth year uh, as of the taping of this video in mid-July. The date has not been announced, um, uh, nor has a location for the Catfish Conference, but all indications are that it's going to be uh, the same weekend, uh, late February, and uh, we'll probably be somewhere around the same area, hopefully with a little bigger venue. They, even last year before this new expo was announced, they were talking about expanding the size and how much room they had. So uh, I got a feeling it'll probably be in the same area, maybe just a bigger location. But um, the new expo, the Bill Dance World Catfish Expo, I think as it is being called, uh, is a game changer. Uh, I believe it's a game changer in the industry. Uh, one, it has a huge name attached to it, and that being Bill Dance. Um, as many of you know, even if you're not into fishing, you've probably heard of him. You've seen probably his shows. You've probably seen some of his blooper videos that he has out. Uh, he's been a mainstay in fishing television for 40 years. I remember watching him as a kid. Um, so he's a big name. He's attached to big name industry companies, Bass Pro Shop uh, being the biggest one. And uh, everybody feels pretty sure he'll be bringing the Bass Pro Shop name along to this expo, uh, which is good for the industry. Uh, it's good exposure. Um, it's opening up, being where it's at in Memphis, uh, which is more of a little more of a travel destination for people. It's opening up some options there to get some people coming to the show that may not be as entrenched in catfishing as most of us are who have attended the catfish conference the past several years. I think a lot of those people are a little more hardcore uh, catfish enthusiasts. Um, so I think this may open some doors to bring in some other people. Now, the big question that not a lot of people wanted to ask publicly, uh, is this a bad thing for the catfish conference? Uh, and it's a fair question. It's a legitimate question, uh, especially coming this conference is slated to come two weeks after what is traditionally the uh, date of the Catfish Conference, uh, which I don't really like. I, we all have said that we need two Catfish Conferences every year in two different locations geographic, geographically uh, just to make it easier for more people to attend. I don't think it's a good idea having them that close together. Uh, for a lot of people, they're going to have to pick and choose which one they go to, and understandably so. Uh, especially if you are traveling a great distance to get there. Um, I only, I say I only travel, it's about six hours for me to get to uh, the Catfish Conference. Probably about, it's probably going to be about seven or eight hours to get to Memphis. So I don't know that I will make both shows. I will pick and choose which one to go with and where I want to go to just because uh, that's a lot of money to tie up. To go to both shows, probably to see a lot of the same thing. Uh, had these been a little further apart, I think it would have been better for the sport. I think had the uh, 
Build Ants Catfish Expo put theirs later in the year, maybe towards the summer. I think a summer would be a good time. I think June would be a great time. Nobody really is pursuing catfish at that time of the year. People are on vacation. Uh, you know, kids are out of school. It's a good time. You could plan a vacation and a trip around this. I wish they would have thought about that and pushed that date into that range because it's a bad time to catfish. People are on vacation. Memphis would be a really cool place to go see that time of the year. So I think that would have been a better move for the industry itself. Another question that gets brought up is, can the industry stand having two shows, two major shows? It's a real good question. Um, I think they can. Uh, again, I think if it was spread out more, both time-wise and geographically, I think it would have been a good thing for the industry. Uh, there may be some cannibalization of uh, the vendors and the actual participants being this close together. Uh, time will tell on that. Uh, that's probably the exciting thing about all this is seeing how it shakes out, uh, seeing what works out. Uh, so time will tell on how this plays, how this works, and what goes on in the future with it. Now, do I think it's a bad thing for the Catfish Conference? Not really, and I'll tell you why. Bill Dance is a big name. He's a huge name. A uh, huge name in the bass fishing world, the fishing world. Yes, he does fish for catfish, but he's not really a known name in this industry. Uh, he is a big supporter of catfish regulations. Uh, we've all seen that with what he's done to help out Tennessee. But he's not really, really a big draw. People want to meet him more because he's Bill Dance than because he's a catfish angler. And I don't know if that alone is enough to carry this entire show. The other thing is the catfish conference uh, that Steve Douglas put together and, and spearheaded to begin with, that was a real game changer in our industry uh, because it brought a lot of different vendors together uh, that have products for the catfish world and it brought a place for anglers to come together. Uh, the one thing about that that I think is going to be hard for a big expo to touch is the intimacy that you get at the catfish conference. You are basically there talking to the owners of all the companies who provide and build products for our industry. Now, the Bill Dance Expo will have a lot of big, I'm sure that Lawrence will be there and Humminbird and the big boat makers, the motor people, but you're dealing with a sales rep. Uh, you're dealing with somebody who is selling these products not the actual people. And I think the people in the catfish world like that intimacy. And that's why I think it's going to take a lot to overcome that. Uh, it's going to take a lot of effort on their part to uh, beat the catfish conference for having that kind of in intimacy, that kind of personal touch, that kind of knowing the people that you're dealing with and that you're surrounded by in this industry. So which one will I be going to? Well, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be going to the Catfish Conference. Uh, I'm not ruling out the Bill Dance Expo. Uh, perhaps if one of my sponsors wants to bring me there, that's fine. But my plan is to go to the Catfish Conference. Uh, it was me personally. I like the intimacy of it. I like the uh, knowing the people, uh, you know, knowing the people who are sitting behind the brands, the products that are being sold there. That's what suits me. Uh, I don't think the uh, new Bill Dance Conference is a bad thing. I think it's going to be good. I think it's positive. Personally, I think the competition of the two shows is a great thing for the sport because it's going to make both of them work harder to be better to outdo the other one. And the people who benefit from that are us, the fishermen that are going to these shows. So I think it's a good thing to have both of these shows competing for our eyeballs. So for now, that's my take on what's going on with it. I think it's exciting. It'll be interesting to stay tuned to see what happens, uh, what comes out as far as the developments. I'll try to put some updates as uh, more information comes out on both the uh, Bill Dance Expo and also the Catfish Conference. Hopefully, they'll be announcing some stuff here uh, fairly soon because we all want to get our hotel rooms booked. Uh, that's coming up in February. And uh, that's not that far away. And uh, I know a lot of people want to be making plans to get out there. And hopefully, I'll get to see some of you folks out there. Well, folks, hopefully that gives you a little bit of information to uh, think on uh, until we learn more. Uh, I'm going to try to keep you updated on any of the new developments from either the Catfish Conference or the Build Dance Expo. So uh, make sure you subscribe. Uh, hit the little bell so you'll be notified when new videos are out. Also, hit that thumbs up. We look forward to seeing you on the water.